Just and there it is. are live. Ah. Uh, Hi. Welcome, everyone, to <clears throat> episode 2.3, despite what it says on the stream, of uh, the Sprawl Subversion Operation Everyone Wants a Car Panther. Panther? I can't even speak today. I need more caffeine, but I'm working on it. I have some with me today. Um, this should, in theory, depending on how things go, be the thrilling conclusion. It's a little bit on the risky side at the moment, so we'll see how it pans out. Um, I think I have everyone that sounds in the like, right that place. That sounds yeah. like we're going to have a conclusion. It's just whether or not it's a happy conclusion. Well, conclusion well, should occur. I don't expect death in this. Uh, you both, you all are pretty well off at the moment. I think only blank is the one semi-injured at the moment, but we'll see. Um, hey, I am missing a tie. Uh, which is Aww. more emotional damage than anyone else has sustained in this whole episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll we'll see. That, um, that is pretty severe emotional trauma for for Trip. Don't worry, I have a feeling more emotional trauma is set for this episode. Besides, that someone has to make is not gonna someone has to make a decision about that car panther. I, I made the decision yesterday or last time. I know what's going to happen with it. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we'll see. Um, cool. Uh, welcome to my stream. I'm still Seraph. I will be the GM for this evening. And pretty much any time we play for the moment, unless one of these other lovely players decides to run a game. Um... Going left to right, down at the bottom... Mr. Blank Stare, tell everyone about yourself and what you're looking forward to this evening. I am, as you said, Blank Stare. I'm our group's killer, so I'm looking to kill and do as much of that as I can. I, yeah. I assume there will be ample opportunity for that this evening. I do hope so. Mr. Max Impact, uh, tell us about yourself. Ignore the vans parking in the background of my audio, and uh, tell us what you look forward to this evening. Uh, I'm Vid Wizard, V I D D Wizard, also Jim. Uh, I am playing Max Impact the Fixer, and I'm looking forward to. No, I'm not going to say fixing things. That's just dumb. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, our 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 killer killing things as well because. The way we rolled last time, uh, we were pretty much all in a little handbasket wondering why it's getting so fucking hot, so. Yeah, we were on our way to hell. So, like, hey, why are we all in this handbasket? Why it's getting so damn warm? Um, so. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to mayhem, crisis, and, of course, humor, because, well, it's me. There will probably be all of those. And, as, as stated previously, emotional trauma, I suspect. Um, Which is going to be hilarious. Well, I mean, we still have physical trauma. I mean, doesn't Blank Stare still have a sparky little, like, you know... Basically, yeah. That, well, like, well, have we not started calling you Sparky? That's what I don't know. I don't know. I assume that I at least have it kind of, like, covered somehow, so I'm not just randomly sparking. But probably. I don't know. It would be kind of entertaining if I were. Randomly sparking, and, you know, you have, what, three bullet wounds as well to go with that? Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I think I've got at least one. Yeah. And Mr. Trip West, uh, tell us about your character and what you're looking forward to this evening. Um, Trip West, I'm the pusher, uh, although we haven't done a lot of anti-space stuff yet. Um, although I've been pushing this car panther pretty hard. I'm not, I don't know, I'm real worried about that car panther. And now my tie. So I've got two real big investments into this mission, and I don't think either one's going to come out okay. You're going to have to go to space to uh, make up your... Your 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 debt or make up someone's debt. I'm gonna open up my notes. Mine. Yep. Yeah, he's going to space, and I doubt he's sticking around for the gala that we just screwed over. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> and lastly, replica. Tell us about your character and what you're looking forward to this evening. Uh, well, I am replica, the infiltrator. Um, this. Did not uh, use a uh, lot of my skills getting us into the uh, 
particular catastrophe <laughs> as it currently stands. Uh, and largely, I'm looking forward to not being working for our uh, Simon Song uh, guy right now, <laughs> as uh, this seems to be a very bad choice on our parts for uh, patrons. <laughs> So far, you, and I should actually probably advance these, since you have moved the clock up a little bit, but even still, at, what, 1800, Genetic Effects isn't all that hunting you down just yet, they are aware of you, admittedly their security team right now is hunting you down, but that's a whole different story. Um, overall, you're actually not doing too badly with all of the corporations, so that's something positive to come out of this. Uh, admittedly, someone spent a lot of money to make sure that that was the case for at least Shinvex, so. All right. Uh, I am actually peeking on audio here. I should be a little bit quieter. Um, so, who wants to describe where we let off, left off? I, I, uh, I believe we were in the truck. <laughs> the truck is being held together by a, a tie and there may or may not be one or more um hovercraft or what not hovercraft but um or they like vtols that's right yep. vtols after us well we last i remember we were driving away and i think it was replica and i in a cab correct and, and yeah. you guys are in the back and yep. debating on how to deal with the tie you guys are holding the door <laughs> up with a tie with a with yep. a Silk or so tie. When Replica and I started hearing a beeping noise, and looked at each other and went, "Crap!" And I looked out the back and saw. We looked out the rearview window or whatever the mirrors and saw the veto crab now beelining towards us. So, uh, so best I can do right now is throw foul language at it. So somebody else needs an idea. It, it seems you have two problems. You think you might be being tracked, and you're definitely being visually tracked. Uh, I think um, we pretty much confirm we're being tracked. <laughs> so, scene opens the shot from the last mission. Um, you're barreling away from the building just as you, as the, the camera cuts from the truck. It turns back towards the building and zooms in, and you see the VTOL craft take off off the landing pad, turn towards you, and start making a beeline down towards you. Uh, it cuts away as you drive under a bridge to further down the highway and the VTOL craft is now you know swinging around behind you it hasn't open fired yet because uh, there are expensive products in the back of it but it is currently working towards trying to figure out what to do with you which one of you would like to uh, start first so I'm driving the car the the truck I think so I should probably um, start with with that, trying to uh, find a way to gain separation or break visual um, contact with this uh, VTOL craft. All right. So, what are you doing? Didn't right. we have a route laid out that involved going under some bridges originally? Because we knew we might have a VTOL craft. Kind of did, I thought. Yeah, I thought we our route. Out yeah, we had another by. nondescript truck on standby, yeah. Yeah, we do have a nondescript truck on standby. And when we have a, a break in coverage, I'd like to meet up with that. All right. Transfer the animals. So how are you trying to break but coverage? Right. All right. <clears throat> so uh, going down the highways at fairly dangerous uh, speeds um, and looking for... Uh, you know, passageways between buildings that would be narrow enough to, or roads that go between buildings close enough together that the VTOL would be at least hesitant about racing through. Okay, and you are or, aware, you remember from your intel about the route of the truck, you did see the visuals of it being able to fly into, while not the tightest of tunnels, most tunnels is pretty accessible for it. I think if you had a one car singular direction tunnel, it would probably have a little trouble doing it, but how much you can yeah. get out of that is a little bit different story. Um, I I was thinking like 
those were with a cooperative and reasonably flying or reasonably driving truck. Yeah. Not a hostile, not a truck, you know, uh, valid driven by hostile agents and stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm torn between, eh, this sounds like an act under pressure. So I will give you an act under pressure since it is your best stat. All right. Give me a moment to bring this up. Here we go. Act under pressure. And go. And right now we have no Ford on that, right? Correct. So that's going to give me a 9. 9. So close to a 10. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, I need my stuff. Why do I not have my stuff open here? The perils of being a pro streamer is I forget all the stuff I actually need to do. And of course my computer is being slow. Yeah. Something's going to happen. I stumble, hesitate, or flinch, and you offer a worse outcome, hard bargain, or ugly choice. Um, so I am trying to drive through tunnels and between buildings and things like that to make it more dangerous for this thing to follow us. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's see. Let's open these here. Hmm. You can find a place to break eye contact, and it'll give you about a minute or so, but you still realize that even if you break contact right now, they are still tracking the truck. And you are not all that close to your um, rendezvous for the extra, extra truck yet. Okay. So... so. The... So we need to loop break contact and then disable the damn tracking device. You you disappear under a bridge, well into like I don't know, uh, parking it's, garage type thing. It's it's a multi-story parking garage attached to a, um, <clears throat> for lack of a better term, a a giant high-rise mall. Uh, you vanish in. It's a little tight quartered. At the moment, you think the VTOL's broken off because he can't see you. Uh, but you know the, the the glaring, beeping red light is going off in your face. And with it being dark in that parking garage, it's only emphasizing the fact that there's a bright red light going, Hi! <laughs> Alright. Well, that's obviously nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright. <laughs> We've we've got we've got a little bit of time, uh, Max. Can you do anything about this goddamn tracker? I can try. Uh, what's that gonna be? Hmm. You just hear me in the back. You could shoot it. <laughs> uh, I'll go on the comms and go. Shooting the dashboard is not conducive to the truck staying. Drivable. For, for a little bit of color, I'm picturing in the back of this truck since it was a gala event. They have the animals in cages, but they also have like a bunch of balloons that they were going to use to like decorate <laughs> the zoo. And so as we're going around corner, there are just like corners. There are just like balloons like going back and forth across <laughs> the truck. Like, uh, <laughs> out of here. You know what? I I uh, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to reach out to J uh, to Janice. Who would be able to be the one person who could talk me through disabling I, this thing? I, I would say your phone call with Janice is going to be an assess. And okay. Do I get a forward for having Janice help me? Uh, Janice is more on the technical side, but yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give you a I'll give you a plus one for that. Oh, good. So roll edge plus one. so eight nine that is really not bad since i started at negative one yeah, that's true uh you gain one hold you can ask a question uh how do i how do i turn the power off to it <laughs> um so I'll go with the the how is the tracker vulnerable to me? I assume. Right. 
All right. You find as you're you're tracing through the system that there is a keypad on it designed to shut off the system. Um, Janice talks you through that and you're able to pull off the keypad and you see wires running in and out of it. You think one of them might be the one to shut it off completely, but you will need to... Hmm. I think this is going to be another act under pressure roll to disable it. Uh, any forward on that? From uh, yes, knowledge? you get you get plus one from your assess. Ten, eleven, Ten. nice. <sighs> All right, you in the process of that work through the system. Janice speaks to you about it and describe the situation as you cut that wire. Or so how I'm you actually, cut that wire. So I'm imagining I'm on the phone with her. And uh, so I've got the phone like cocked on my shoulder. Or no, I've got my earbud in. And so I've got her on the phone and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm seeing. And like, I'm not describing everything I'm seeing. And just as I go to cut a wire, she's like, no, you idiot, go up one wire. And I go up and I cut the right wire. And then I wonder, how did she know what wire I was looking at? <laughs> You're muted. I just left. She's walking, watching through your uh, your your ocular impacts. My, right, which I don't realize that she has a hack into, obviously, but now I do. Now I'm suspicious that she does. Yeah. But it shuts it off, and I'm just like, thanks, Jen. Wait. How did you know what car I was getting ready to cut? Click. And she, like, yeah, exactly. She's like, she's like, aren't you in the process of a ch car chase? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Talk later. All right. So now. How are things in the back? <clears throat> Bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> how much, um, I mean, my joke aside, how much do, are we aware of in the back? It, it, was there really an intercom? that we knew that we were being followed or were we just like hanging out of this tide being bounced around wondering what the hell's going on i assume you guys all have live radio feeds to each other okay yeah i would have definitely told you that we were being chased and you know to at least give you a moment to brace before we went around a tight corner or something like that all right then i suspect that i'm like in the back with my high-powered rifle out and ready to go and I'm wondering, you know, so like we've come to a stop, and I'm just like sitting there aiming out in case we need it. That's what I'm doing. You All have right. real bullets? Lighter. Say what? You have the real bullets in or tranquilizer? <laughs> I, hmm, good question. I check the <laughs> check the magazine real fast. To make sure. <laughs> real, real bullets. I knew that. You got to well, upgrade you your. Your your interface on that rifle there. <laughs> I like him. I like him old school. Ah, Wait, right. who are we shooting? Nobody uh, at the moment. Sorry, I was I'm arguing with Janice. I was arguing yeah. with Janice offline real quick, and I was like, "Wait, what? Who are we shooting?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have a brief moment of respite. Um... You have a feeling right. that if you wait too much longer, that VTOL craft is going to land and you're going to get surrounded real fast. All right. So this is there's a couple exits from this uh, um, parking garage. So let's try to find one. You know, keep an eye out to see where the uh, VTOL craft is, and hopefully find one that we can safely or exit through unobserved. There isn't With, much uh, in the way of visibility out from the parking structure. That's the one thing that's kept you safe so far, because otherwise the VTOL craft would have just come down and been like, I wonder where they are. Um, so, you know, there are two exits. There's the one you came in through, and then there's one on the other side of the building. So they're not, there's no way to watch both, technically speaking. Um, you know that there was a second VTOL craft at the building, but you haven't seen it so far, or at least you hadn't seen it chasing you. Um, well, then 
let's uh, head out. Uh, act under pressure or... Oh. Question. Would we have time for the other driver that we told to take off that was on standby? Would we have time for her to rendezvous under here with us? Um, hmm. I would give you guys a... Everything seems to lean to act under pressure. So yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys an act under pressure roll to uh, try it. Who's who's got the back to, uh, best act? Uh, I think I do. Because I'm thinking if we got, we trade out the truck, we trade out the truck cab, and then uh, we'll start. A couple of us will drive this away and reactivate the tracker and take it directly away from the direction the truck's actually going. Do we see any other? Um trailers in here that we could that would in a pinch look close enough that we could hook it up to uh at the moment you're in the main mall parking lot there <laughs> is the loading eh, dock that might one. have something but you're not you, you'd have to go down there and find it okay so never mind yeah i'm just i know it's not gonna last very long but it's just the farther we could split them apart the larger the uh increased yeah. area they have to cover with VTOL crafts so and since we, to me. since we told that person to take off, they should already be on the road and can get here. So we just need who's got the best act under pressure. Cool. Yep, I do. James. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna give it a shot then. Go for it. No forward. So. All right. Uh, that is gonna be a what seven. Seven. All right. Okay. So it is <laughs> at least not a failure. He can get to you. Um. But it will be a couple minutes. So we could probably buy ourselves a couple minutes by changing floors or something. I mean, Jim's got Jimmy got an idea. Well, I was going to say, can I propose a, a different outcome? Mm -hmm. uh, that we could do it, but we would have to drive through the mall <laughs> to. Uh... <laughs> okay. Here's what happens uh, next. It's you after hours. You see some... Well, it's morning, so it's not really after hours. You see some emergency hazard lights sprout out of the uh, the the ceiling of the parking structure. So it's like, you know, the little the spinny amber lights. And one of you glances towards one of the exits, because you had eyeballs on the exits, but you weren't near them enough that, that you could be seen and you see the doors being shuttered. Mm. So now the issue is right. he can't get to you. I would say let's meet him at the loading dock and we will go the short way to the loading dock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't problem with this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mall after hours. Right. I mean this gala was in at night, right? Um, it was the gal is at night, but you were in setup mode, so this was more. Uh, oh no! Remember the truck. The truck was arriving for the gala, so it should be evening. I mean, the mall should be closed. Oh no! That they were still setting it up for the gala, so the truck was arriving mm -hmm. to bring the stuff in to be ready for the gala uh, in the evening. So it's, I would <laughs> say, ten or eleven in the morning. Oh, the not yet. It's just the employees setting up for the mall, right? Plus, besides, leaders, like at a Neo future pure waters or uh, like a neo future like <laughs> American well, Eagle. Uh, this train, this 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 truck's got a horn. We're fine. Yeah, we're Besides, yeah. this is this is cyberpunk. I don't think people have normal hours anymore, especially down in the lower levels where they probably don't see much sun, anyways. Right. So through the mall, <sighs> out, of the, out of the loading dock. Yeah. He kicks his trailer. We Way grab on. another trailer. Laying on the horn the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys push through to the top of the parking structure, which has the main massive entrance into the mall, and you just smash through the, uh, the I guess it was acrylic doors because glass isn't worth spending the money on. Um, is, uh, could, yeah. Hmm? Could Janet uh, or Janine? <clears throat> change the AR on the side of the uh, truck as we're going through just to advertise Alpha X. 
so well, that they, uh, people, uh, so that it looks like it, it's uh, space related. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the AR you set up in the elevator was a, a portable AR generator setup, and that you left in the elevator since it was hiding all the stuff there. Um, but wouldn't you have some AR sensor on the truck for advertising purposes? I think that's what he's getting at. There is. Yeah. Um, I would say our, either our fixer or our pusher might have to, uh, do a, I'll go with fast talk to get the system to switch over. Uh, I'll try it. What the hell? Go ahead. I got nothing else to do except play with a horn, so, uh. Well, who's got the better style? Uh, mine's two. That's better. All right, there you go. There we go. And... <laughs> boop. Six, eight. Um, it's kind of flickering, on and off. flickering <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> and kind of generating an audible noise as it's going along too. So <laughs> not only is the giant truck smashing through the mall attracting attention, it's also going, hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. The whole time. So it's, so it's saying SpaceX 404. SpaceX 404. <laughs> Spa- Alpha X Genetifix. Alpha <laughs> Fix Geneta X. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, headlines: Some kind of uh, <laughs> collaborative Genetifix Alpha X truck smashes through the mall today. <laughs> yeah, that'll be that'll be the interesting headline. And then, and then I'm just like I'm grabbing a horn. I'm like riding the whole time. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> like a five year old, like yelling, "The brakes are out! The brakes are out!" <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chris on the intercom and is like, hey, uh, can we swing by the Express and get a new tie? <laughs> uh, you're gonna Sorry, there is no stopping this train. <laughs> you're going to have to jump. <laughs> Wait, sorry. We just passed it. Too late. <laughs> so you start smashing through the, the, the mall. It's chaos and pandemonium. You've passed through a couple of stores directly. Um, there's clothing strewn all over the front of the truck. Um, a I couple look over of replica. I'm like, are, I'm like, are you aiming to hit everything? <laughs> what are you using to see by the force? <laughs> <clears throat> I've been watching classic movies. <laughs> Quick, there's a little lady you missed. There's some, there's some now loud music playing out of the AR on the truck. Uh, we you, just need a, a shit ton of police cars chasing after us to yeah. crash into everything else. Blues Brothers style. Uh, I seriously think this is going to be... Uh, oh, hey, look, there's a sale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ty. You, you careen around. You have to... There, You get one scene where the truck does that dive over the uh, um, escalators and down a floor... <laughs> Um, I hope your people in the cab are holding on for dear life because. Uh, oh, I've had uh, my seatbelt oh, on for a while. Oh, I mean, oh, man, I mean in the trailer. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, yeah. The unfortunately, the only warning you guys in the trailer are going to get is, "Oh shit!" <laughs> my gun goes off a couple times just from bouncing around. <laughs> Probably not the best thing. The Car Panther. Especially since it's an armored trailer. Yeah, that's true. It just like ricochets around inside. <laughs> it's oh, like it's so tempting. Dead pan, dead hippo tub, dead, uh, dead oh, hippo tub. Yeah, dead let's not do that. Ground. Dead car <laughs> panther. <laughs> the back door is kind of pulling out a little bit because it's a tie. So I think that bullet just goes out and wings the old lady that we missed. <laughs> okay. Um, replica, describe. The rest of the scene until you get to uh, smashing through a store to get to their loading dock entrance. You're on mute. My apologies. All right. So we come smashing through the entry uh, gates at the uh, at the mall and begin careening through the. Uh, 
you know, down the center lane of the mall with the thing going off, run over a pop-up watch uh, kiosk, uh, fishtail, and the um, trailer crashes, a, a smushes a Cinnabon, goes off the uh, uh, second floor or whatever floor um, down those down that escalator uh, series. And, uh, you know, bottoms out for a bit at a uh, fountain before uh, smashing through the radio shack to the loading area. Wow, they, they survived into the future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Since they've all gone out of radio business for the most part. It's like the only radio, radio shack, shack that it's yes. privately owned. <laughs> it's, just it's, well, it. it's a Best it Buy radio now shack. It's officially a uh, mafia... Um, money laundering operation. <laughs> Rather than implicitly one, now it's officially one. See, I was thinking that Radio Shack in the future would sell actual shacks to people to live in be- <laughs> like when they can't afford them. Yeah, it's just a prefab, like, concrete box that has a radio <laughs> antenna that comes out of it. Yeah, it gives a free Wi-Fi. It comes with free Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh. Alright, you smash through the back of the Radio Shack and you're Happy that the truck you're using is heavily armored. Otherwise, there wouldn't be much truck. Yeah. And there'd be a whole lot more wall. As such, you smash through the wall and come to a slow but steady stop. You don't see your trucker friend yet. But you do see four armed um, Genetifix guards. They are all... You, you you think they are all female, based on the way the armor is cut. Uh, but they're all wearing blast shield helmets. They all look about the same size. Um, and they're all pointing rifles at you. I think this is where uh, Blank Stare comes in. I might know one of them. <laughs> Uh, I'm just like I'm just like I'm just like uh, blank. Uh, you're up. I'm I'm pointed out the back. Can you reorient me a little bit? Let me get untangled from these stupid balloons. <laughs> you 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 know at the moment that the cab is bullet resistant. Some concerted effort would probably end with a lot of bullets smashing through the glass eventually and murderizing all of you. Um, the Trailer is a little bit more heavily armored, but that's another one with enough concerted effort. Will uh, have a bad day, and the fact that the trailer hit uh, the trailer door is not really all that secure means it probably won't take long for them to break into it. Um, so you I want to hear. Can I fast talk my way out? Of, can I try to do a fast talk to get us by his time? You hear <laughs> through the the. The radio panel on the cab, uh, a female voice that sounds fairly familiar to Max, say, everyone in the vehicle, put up your hands, throw your weapons out of the vehicle, and no one will get hurt. Who does it sound can, like? Can we get to the back? Um, if you have an open comm, you'll probably hear it. Right. Yeah, we do have an open comm. Who does it, who does it sound like? You... Think long and hard, and considering you were just on the phone with her, you think it sounds oh, it's like me. Janice. I'm Max. Oh, Jan- oh. Janice. Uh, let. Uh, I'm gonna go first. Replica. If this goes badly, delete my web history. Um, let let him around back. Trip 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 to the family home. He's like, let a couple of them around back. Uh, I got I. I've got a gut instinct on this. Give me a second. Okay. So I will slowly open the door, hand you know, hand up. Uh, I will drop my pistol because I only have one. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good anyway. Drop it out the door, and then I step out, hands up, you know, and walk forward. Like, uh, I think we might have a serious miscommunication on what's going on here. I will happily let you fast talk. Um, How do you fast talk out of this? I can't wait to see this. 
the the lead or the one in the center of the five i think i said five or was did i say four four, four okay i said four. four so the one of the two in the center steps forward the 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 blacked out face shield kind of has that digital effect as it slowly clears and you see the face of janice except it's a younger janice Okie dokie. Uh, how's it? How you doing? Um, she looks at you so, as if she has no idea who you are. She probably doesn't. But I reminds me to have another conversation. Add, add to the list of things to talk to Janice about. <laughs> if I survive. Okay, let me see if I can pass talk. Nine. 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 Hmm. So, what is your goal? My goal is one, first and foremost, not to get shot. Second is to try to put them a little more ease so they won't shoot the rest of my friends. Because I'm basically just trying to buy time until the other truck shows up, because that's going to be a distraction. <clears throat> so, goals in that order. One, not get shot. Two, don't get everybody else shot. Three, buy time until the, truck, the other truck arrives. Hmm... So, as you're trying to just like, whoa, hey, everything's okay, we're all good here, we're all friends, it's, it's, how are you, as you drop yeah. the gun, um, her, her three compatriots, one of them walks to the side of the cab, gesturing her gun at Replica. And the other two start walking towards the back of the truck. I'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, guys, guys, guys. You don't want to walk around back there. Trust me when I tell you it is in your best interest and safety not to walk behind the truck. Mind, mind you, I still have an open comm. Yeah, I, I'm i like, let me let me know when they're behind us or behind the truck. So do they stop at all? Do they continue? Um, they slow, guns raised, and the leader... Raises her rifle at you and goes, I, I, and I, just to, what I, is the reason I, why? I don't want to see. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I just don't want to see anybody. Look, you know, circle of trust here, okay? I don't want you guys to get hurt. I don't want us to get hurt. Do you know what's in the back of this truck? Yes, I am distinctly aware. I helped supervise its loading. Oh, good. So you're aware that when the power goes off, which is what controls the tailgate. The cages also go off. I'm aware that the when the power shuts off, the magnetics magnets disengage and the cages can fly around. I am well, also aware that without uh, me, a certain uh, key card, and she kind of, you know, waves one that's card. attached to her 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 tack vest. Um, mm -hmm. Those cages are designed not to open. Well, uh, let, let me let me point your attention to one small factor, uh, Your Highness, um, and kind of point towards the hole in the building where we came out of. Those cages were not designed to take a ride through the mall the way we just did. <laughs> um, I can tell you, I, I can tell you about from the screaming and yelling of my now my no longer no longer communicating friends that those cages have some of those cages must have popped open. It was probably so less I, ideal that you had two people in the back of the truck with unsecured cages. That might have been hindsight. a... I, I agree with you. Hindsight's twenty twenty. I agree with you 100%. It was not how the plan was supposed to go. Uh, I appreciate... But again, trying to keep us all that are alive, alive. I just want your friends to be careful and not to go behind because, again, door's not very secure... So look and see how far around. Are they still continuing around? They come up to the back of the truck and then they keep it between them and come at a 45 degree angle and have both guns raised. Right. Which doesn't do them any good because they're going to have to get close to the tailgate to do anything. But they have eyes on it and are right. ready for as much as they can if the gate right. does open. Right. Right. So right now, like, I'm looking at the leader. Um, uh, I'm sorry. What was your name, ma'am? I, I don't want to keep calling you random names. 
She just goes, I am Agent 137. 137? Really? Your parents named you 137? That's terrible. I'm Max, by the way. Could I can I call you Cynthia? Seems a lot friendlier. Seven is fine. Seven. Okay, seven it is. Thank you, seven. So, as we were saying, you'll see that we're trying to do everything we can to cooperate. We don't want to see anybody get bludgeoned, killed, eaten, stabbed, shot. Etc. If you were trying to do everything you were to cooperate, your compatriot in the cab of the vehicle would be standing out here with their guns on the floor. Well, there's a problem with that. He's kind of attached. He kind of got himself attached to the truck in a way that it's going to need. He's going to need a look back at replica. Was it a pipe wrench? Crescent wrench? What was it you needed to get loose? Um, I'm hold up my hand, like now covered in fake blood, or actual real blood. <laughs> yeah, real blood. You're bleeding all over the place. <laughs> so, so I was gonna do something, but I was letting uh, Jim do his stuff. All right, yeah, do your thing. So this is where I'm handing it off to you to improvise because I'm running out of shit to say. So <laughs> yeah, like, so, what did you need? <laughs> when the uh, person came around to the cab. I, you know, have my hands to them, like, non-threateningly, mm -hmm. but, like, having smeared uh, uh, blood and not, and fake blood to make it look like I am very badly injured. Okay. And, can, and I'm in, like, shock, so I can't really respond to them. And just kind of looking at them with, uh, like, um, shock, or uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, shell shock type eyes, glazed eyes. Yeah, uh, the, the goal, the goal <laughs> being to uh, get the drop on them when uh, Blank Stare does whatever he's planning to do. Well, we're still waiting on another truck, so you <clears throat> get a message on your comms, text only, ten seconds out. Yeah. So as I'm looking at like. Like I look back at I look back at seven. I'm like, yeah, he's in shock. I don't even know if he can stand right now. Um, he's gonna need a stretcher, and he's Going got something. Right now. What was that? Uh, female pronouns right now. Right, she's gonna need, she's gonna need a stretcher, and I I, I don't know if it's a pipe wrench or a crescent wrench to get her leg on 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 whatever went to her leg, but she's a mess. So I came you, out first. Just as you say, mess. Um, Camera seems to slow down for a moment, and you're kind of mid continuing to say something. Turns to the side, you see a truck just barrel through the the VTOL craft, smashing it aside as it slams to a halt. But what you weren't expecting is the truck is hauling a trailer, and you're like, "Wait, he didn't have a trailer. What happened?" As it slows to a halt, the trailer's side flips open and there are six guys in what looked like armored um like pinstripe suits all of them are also heavily armed slightly more heavily armed than the uh genetifix guards and mm -hmm. they just open fire Okay, it's just I'm a doing, flurry of gunfire. I am doing something that is part of my uh, part of my background. Mm -hmm. um, protective. When you put responsibility to Janice ahead of the mission, so I literally am going to fling myself on top of Seven and cackle her to the ground. All right. Uh, I'm trying to disarm her if I can, but the biggest thing is to get her out of the hail of bullets because I don't know if she's related to Janice or not. But I'm taking the chance that she is, and so I'm basically I've kind of got my my long term goal is that we can disarm her and take her with us. Short term goal is to keep her out of bullet fire. Something in the middle. Oh, I'd like to get the card from her if I can. But uh, that can go if I if I can't take her, then I'll take the card. But my first goal is to to tackle her. Is basically lay flat on her so that the guys don't nobody shoots her. 
because she's not a threat, let him take care of the other three and then figure out what to do with her. <clears throat> um, the other three dive for cover um, and start exchanging rounds between the... What? Ten of... Well, nine of them since you tackled one of them. Um, bullets whiz no, no, over I your... I, I tackled Janice. She was one of the four. I yeah. tackled seven. There, there, are, there are nine, yeah. ten total combatants, one of which you tackled. The, oh, either the, six the, of them, three of the, them, yes. The, the, the four Janices and the six uh, Syndicate. Right. So I tackled this one. There's now three guards <laughs> left, plus the six Syndicates. Correct. Um, it's a hail of bullets over your head. You timed it just in the nick of time. Uh, as the door was coming down, you saw the guys with guns. You're like, that's not supposed to be there. And you literally just spin her around and tackle her to the floor as the gunfire starts. Um, bullets literally, start... I'm like laying on top of her. She tries to get up and just like, stay down. I just keep like pushing her back down. Push bullets her gun away start so that... cracking off the, uh, the, the windscreen of the truck you're in. Um, in the movie style squibs against the window, but it's starting to, uh, um, darken the, 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 the windshield glass, which, you know, from the, the materials design of most of these bulletproof cabs that once that goes black, the, uh, the glass is no longer bulletproof. So, all right. Um, and I, I, and I am going to consider myself for the, the duration of this fight, however long it is, uh, my only job is to keep her out of this fight. And and while the the trailer is bull heavily bullet resistant, it is definitely not soundproof, and both Blank Stare and Trip definitely know something's going down. What's going I on? Want some of this. Like I'm so, not gonna sit this out. Yeah, <laughs> this is you guys awesome. just, You guys yeah, are welcome to jump in. Yeah. So, I have a reaction to this, but, uh, you know, Jim and I have been kind of dominant so far, so I was going to, you know, pass to, uh, to right. Will and Shane about it. Go for it. Right, which is why I'm, which is why I'm considering myself out of this fight, is because we've gotten to dominate quite a bit of the... How are we orient... I assume we're broadside to the incoming fire. So, your truck uh, smashed out through the back of the radio shack is still pointed where the trailer's pointed back towards the radio shack. In front of you is the, or in front of the truck is the semi, uh, okay. in a T shape like this, and the VTOL oh, craft is now kinked to the side, forward and off to the left. So it's pretty safe to assume those two guards are probably directly behind the truck, and dropping the ramp on them would do some pretty good damage if we could hit them. They actually dove further to the side. Oh, okay. But their focus is on the large men with guns in um, bowler caps shooting at them. So you're, so you're saying neither one of them would have taken cover directly behind the truck, which is the closest place for cover? They were back in 45 degree because you warned them that there was an issue with the truck. Right, but neither one so of them would have taken a chance to move forward? There were instinct. several like crates and um, another, another truck trailer that was on the other side. Not like truck trailer, but the Whatever the, the shipping container. Um, okay, fair enough. That they dove to, uh, to either side for. Fair enough. Just one to verify. Yep. All right. Well, I, I think Blank Stare would have a uh, auto shotgun in hand, and he'd signal to uh, drop the ramp. If we're good with that. Trip, who was, who was perfectly content to sit in the back of this truck, uh, has a heavy sigh, and like does. There's like. There's like one slip knot that was holding the whole the whole thing together. He <laughs> undoes, and the gate just like thumps down with a huge clang, and like twenty five to fifty black gala, gala balloons like float out of the back of it as the like <laughs> as they come out. I'm, I'm imagining Trip having dialogue like, "Hey, this may take me," and as he tugs one time, the entire thing lets go, and he's just kind of like, "Okay, done." <laughs> So I come out John Woo style with balloons. <laughs> <laughs> and randomly there was a dove in the back of that truck. Yeah. Nobody understands yep. why. Uh, I think loose. it was a modified dove and it's going to shoot everyone with guns. It's going to shoot laser beams out of its eyes. 
Actually, because of the the modified AR setup, it was actually an augmented reality dove that kind of <laughs> flickers a little bit erratically as it's flying out. Does, uh, does Mike Stair have that set up as just a standard, uh, like, opening thing for himself? Yes. I'm, I'm, imagining, I'm imagining this dove flickering going, <laughs> like, it gets wrong size and, like, gigantic and then tiny and... Yeah, it's 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 when you're if you ever saw the the Assassin's Creed uh, mix up the, the the weird graphics glitches from one of the yes. more recent gra Assassin's Creeds. That's basically what's happening to that dove. It's like <laughs> what's your what's your walkout music? Well, you're going up to the batter's box. What is God. it? I feel like in this scenario, it's got to be. Come on. Well, what do you what do you what do you think? It's gotta be coming I... coming done by corn, really. Yeah, that's a good one. I was going for like back in black, but yeah. Is anybody familiar with anybody not familiar yeah. with coming done by corn? Probably. It's been a long time, but I think I think I know which one that is. Can you, yeah. can, you can you pipe it in? <laughs> no. Well, it I might be like piped in <laughs> virtually. <laughs> come out. All right, so I um. I turn to the nearest nearest um, genetics guard and I just open up. Hmm. All right. Um, I assume no forward on this, or do I have any forward for surprise? No forward. Okay. Got to make better rolls. The, the door was a bit of a warning. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Ten. Ten. With that. All right. You come out your auto shotgun at the ready the dove flying away the balloon spreading out into the ceiling you just turn and you fire that shotgun and it blasts her back in proper action movie style because guns don't actually do that in real life she <laughs> smashes up against the side of another crate and lands seemingly out of action. You can't quite tell if she's dead, but she's definitely not happy. Alright. When also not moving at the moment. Cap. They have name tags. I want to make sure that it's not Nana. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you see a um... Uh, T-138 on her uniform. No, okay. no, there's no well ever now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but we'll see. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm just imagining him just walking out. <laughs> he's got headphones and he's actually listening to this one. <laughs> in rhythm shooting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Has anybody seen Baby Driver yet? Yes, I want to. Absolutely, watch it. It is fun. It is. It is phenomenal. Yeah, arguably one of my favorite movies of last year. Awesome. All right. Um, I assume I can't like go and kill the other one now. I'd have to. I don't, there's not really an initiative in this, but I didn't know how that worked. There, there's no initiative. You have in this process at least taken out one of the two. In as you're. You turn around and kind of take a pot shot at the other, and she dies behind cover. So you have at least cleared the the um, rear of the trailer from being in danger at the moment. Okay. But you know, if you peek around the side of the trailer, you'll be in 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 eye shot of the uh, the syndicate. That oh, is yeah. just I'm, I'm covering the, sure I'm the loading dock in bullet holes. Trailer, so there's bullets just like whizzing in a hail around me, but I'm not in it yet. So you, you, you have successfully cleared out the area behind the trailer by taking out one and scaring off the other. Okay, that works. Um, uh, anyone else? Anybody else want to do something? Yeah. No. Oh, go ahead. So... What's up? Did you want to go trip? No, go ahead. <clears throat> so, I was going to try to get out of the, uh, like, you know, direct broadside aim of the uh, the truck mm -hmm. they've got. 
So I was going to lean down uh, so that I'm not uh, visible through the glass uh, and just try to drive the um, van around a bit or the truck around so that I'm not getting broadsided. <laughs> Were you going to drive it around or there's always the possibility of driving it straight into the other truck? Uh, actually, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to drive into their uh, them and their trailer. <laughs> All right. Question before he steps on the pedal. Where exactly am I in relation to that truck? <laughs> You're off to the side, right? You're off to the side. Am I, okay, I didn't know if I was in front of it. No, or... you didn't. You're not in front of it. If you were, oh. they probably would have riddled you with holes because you're in that cone of firing right at the truck, which they want to do to uh, disable it as soon as possible. Ah, uh, so we're being double-crossed is what you're saying? <clears throat> uh, yeah, it seems that way. This is uh, a complication from our earlier uh, information gathering. <laughs> earlier information Someone gathering... Maybe a complication from your choice of contacts when you hired someone who offered to do it for free. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, like I said, as long as I'm not going to get run over, once he rolls forward and is acting as a shield, then I might try to, you know, get her, her and I up and then out of, you know, She's not going to be much of a willing... Well, she's not going to want to get shot, so hopefully I can use that to my advantage to at least... Alright. Um, I'm going to go with... It's pretty obvious you are attempting to use violence against an armed force to seize control of an objective. I assume the objective is... Knock over the trailer... Um, so, there's a dis- half dozen dis- folks there, right? Correct. Uh, yeah, I think my goal is to incapacitate as many of them as possible. All right. Um, um, mix it up with it. Sure thing. Uh, what's that? That's meat. Meat. Yep. I am not good at meat. Well, it might prove to be interesting. It, it does. Might prove to be very, very interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> I am uh, doing a neutral drop with this... Uh, truck to try to build up uh, torque before I uh, before it surges forward. <laughs> Alright, you you do that. It does surge forward, though it does that <laughs> because <laughs> trucks really aren't designed to do that. Um, <laughs> and you kind of slowly accelerate towards the, the, the trailer in front of you, um, but they get enough time to move out of the way as you smash into it. Um, a couple of them are still in the trailer as it disconnects from the other truck, lifts up and rolls to the side so that they're looking up at the ceiling <laughs> with a trailer as a box around them. But there are still four of them now on either side of the truck. Uh, also, they could point out that as the truck lurched forward, every time it lurched, like three more balloons came out of the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my rifle like suspended on one of them and it's like floating towards me <laughs> and, and as it lurched forward you had these awesome sparks raise up from the the, the, the trailer door as it moved toward, moved along um, leaving this like gouge in the concrete as it went along and filling the air with the stench of burning rubber Ooh. And or burning clutch pad. I was going to say burning yeah. um, clutch, probably. Yeah. yeah asphalt. Both of them. <laughs> kind of fun stuff. <laughs> All right. Now you have four syndicate, and you. Let's see. You, as you look back through the mirror, are like, wait, where did the other guard go? You've lost all visual on the third guard, the one that didn't run and hide from uh, blank has, you can't the see one that anymore. they were shooting at that was beside the truck cab. Correct. The one that was, the well, one was, that was like... looking, pointing a gun at you, Replica, has suddenly vanished. Alright. 
I've uh, also moved up. into cover <laughs> oh, since the truck's gone now. <laughs> You could go with it. It's not like it took off at a fast speed. So. I, I yeah. kind of wanted to go. Um, I kind of wanted to take, uh, like, kind of secure the, the guard I shot anyway. So I figured I'd get behind her cover and make sure she's actually incapacitated. Could Disarm you some her. help with Check yeah, what it is. these guys with automatic weapons up front? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll exchange some fire once I get into position. <clears throat> All right, Trip. You want to do anything, or are you still gonna hide in the back of that truck? Well, now that now that the gate's down, I think there's a lot more light in there because before it was probably pretty dark. Like maybe just our comms are kind of lighting it up. Yeah. When I look around, what do I see? You see, the truck has now moved away. You see a gaping hole that leads into a radio shack. You see <laughs> bullets riddled all over the wall. I mean, in the back of the truck, because like when the when the gate was up, I'm assuming it was pretty dark in there. Oh, so a lot. Um, you see the what eight. 10 cages that hold all of the animals you're um, hoping to successfully bring to Simon. You see the rest of the balloons that are sitting at the top of the, the trailer. Um, there is probably one case of halfway decent champagne, or at least, you know, not gutter champagne that you would expect from, you know, everywhere else your compatriots well, drink at. Um, to be fair, to be fair. Trip has probably had that a bottle of that open and has been sitting there sipping it out probably. of a glass yeah. this whole time. And if he, he finally looks at the bottle the and goes, "Oh, that is a decent." Well, it's probably one loose, and he's just that's what he's been doing this whole time is like sipping yeah. and waiting for the lights to come on. It's like it's really like, you know, oh. break and went through the mall. Yeah, yeah the box is leaking champagne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably didn't do very well from the truck going over the uh, the escalator. I'm just imagining, but, imagining Trip taking his glass and just kind of going. Surprisingly, you, know, you do find and... at least a couple bottles intact and a couple bottles that, you know, the liquid is still in the bottom half of the bottle and the bottom half of the bottle could make a halfway decent, if maybe a little bit jagged cup. Is there anything else that would be particularly of interest or maybe useful in this situation or is it pretty sparse besides those um, there are a couple of what looks like, um, cattle prods, and there are a couple of the, the containers, especially on the guard panthers that have like, um, data pads hooked up to it, but you're not quite sure what they might go to. Um, I'm also, I'm okay with my rifle still being in there because I theoretically could have left it on the truck floor for you to pick up specifically if I needed you to. Oh, yeah, Cover right. me. We went out with the auto shotgun. Yeah, I went out with the auto shotgun. I wouldn't have had time to like pack up the rifle. I don't, still haven't really worked out how it works, but okay. probably just uh, has a switch that folds it back into its little into some kind of boxy briefcasey looking thing. But I would have probably left it for that perp with that in mind. Like if I need him, he can grab it and cover. Yeah. So I guess this will uh, put down or like not put down, but like holster his pistol uh, and. And kind of pick up the the rifle from where it's left, and kind of give a little bit of a giggle when he picks it up, because he realizes <laughs> just how much damage this huge thing can do. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna go out the back of the truck, and I'm gonna. So we just went straight forward, right? Correct. I'm gonna come out the back of the truck, and I'm gonna look the opposite way that Blank stared. All right. So he shot right, and the other guy or the other one uh, ran off on the left so you're gonna go out towards the left or how is blank blank when you shot right and then did you go after the person who fell or did I, you go the other way no I, I went to secure the person who fell i'm i'm a, he's a little bit worried that his contact could be one of these so he wanted to check identity and and just make sure yeah. she's actually out of the fight so I'm gonna I'm find her cover the way then and go the opposite way where the person who took cover and see if, if I can see them. I'm still gonna remain behind the truck, but like turn look that way. Alright. Uh, are you gonna take some shots at the gar the syndicate or what are you trying to do? Well I just wanna see because there's a there was a guard that was supposedly kind of close to us there. Yeah, she disappeared into a set of uh shipping containers. All of which are strangely labeled uh, Tupco now. Hmm. 
and um, is out of your visual is not is is more trying to deal with the larger, more heavily armed force than the four of you seem to be. Then I'll keep turning when I well when I, as I scan and look and I don't see that guard. I'll kind of turn back towards the front of the truck and see if I can see anyone in that like angle. All right, you're welcome to do an assess if you would like. Otherwise, um, you're welcome to whatever objective you're trying to do. I'm I'm more than welcome to address. I'm just trying to see if I can, if like as I swing around my gaze, because I turned left to where the person was supposedly hiding, didn't see them. Now I'm kind of looking up towards the front of the cab to see if I can see any of these like syndicate people. Okay, so it sounds like you, you you can definitely see at least two of the syndicate are on the right side, two in the syndicate. You think you okay. assume based on descriptions from right. everyone talking about what's going on are on the left hand side. So you know that there are at least two on your side of the cap. Then I'm gonna take aim at the like one that's on the farthest wing that I can first see as I as my gaze. All right. So, you, what's your what's your objective? Instead of instead of like, oh, I'm just gonna shoot this one guy. It's I'm gonna shoot at the syndicate to do X. Uh, just in case you needed stats. Ah, nice. Nice. I was trying to get an image for it, but it didn't work. I'll show you what I found. Um. So, in screen right now, this double cross clearly the syndicate people have no regard for us. Um. And so I know that. We heard we heard uh, Max take out or like jump on one of them, mm-hmm. and Blank Stare has taken two shots, and I don't see either of those two. So now I'm thinking that we need to kind of even this up because I don't want to have all of the guards be dead and have it just be six syndicate against us, right? So I'm trying to even the odds and make it so that there's a still kind of a free fall. Okay, you so you, you're you're trying to even up the odds. See if you can't take out one or two of them to make it a little bit less. Oh my God, we're all gonna die yeah. because someone has pissed off the mafia. He's <clears throat> <laughs> just kind of reveling in the absolute chaos of it, and so he thinks that like instead of having one side just win, balancing it out sounds kind of funny. All right, um, do mix it up since that seems to be the most appropriate. Okay. Device of choice. Nope. <sighs> Five. Um. Oh, I feel like I should have given you a link on that. <sighs> well, cause it's my gun. <laughs> well, even if you gave a link, it late. would still be six. Yeah, wouldn't matter. Yep. Um. You fire around, and <sighs> it just puts this massive hole in the underside of the uh, the the trailer that's knocked over. And surprisingly enough, you hear a, a Wilhelm scream style ah! as uh, you take out one of the guys who was inside the trailer. But unfortunately, that means both of the, the bowler hat men turn towards you and open fire. Um, bullets ricochet off the, the side of the trailer, kind of in that, you know, you see the... They, they did a, a swinging shot, or I guess a swinging shot at you. Um, you just go, burp, 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 and then one tags you in the shoulder and knocks you back. Uh, take a... Are you wearing anything armored at all or no? No. All right. Take two harm and roll harm for me. Plus two. Well, he's rolling. Uh, Will, I, in chat, I, I linked a Vimo video. Yeah. I just uh, I commented on it. Oh, what did you? Did you? I said just like that, but into like a rectangular briefcasey thing. So yeah. like, kind of does that. Yeah, you have a button that oh. just basically goes <laughs> and folds it up. Yep. Okay, yep. it's really annoying that Vimeo in um inside of uh, Discord doesn't have volume. Hmm. Because that's a really really loud video. <laughs> Interesting. A little bit less brief, Casey, but yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Similar idea. All 
Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Poor trip. Yeah. Ouch. I don't think he's in the shoulder. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't even realize you rolled. <laughs> God. Um. You have to choose one of the following. You're out of action, unconscious, trapped, incoherent, or panicked. You take the full armor, harm of the attack before it was reduced by armor. If you already took the full harm of the attack, you take plus one harm, which would make it three. Uh, you, you lose the use of a piece of cyberware until you can get it repaired, or you lose a body part. Whew. <laughs> what cyberware you're... do you have now? You just hear... Blankster yell as you're firing it. It's got a bit of a kit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you have cyberware now? Um, I have Cybercom. That's it? Yeah, I don't have a lot of cyberware. You're probably going to now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to offer this, and if it's not enough, if it's not enough of an offering, let me know. All right. I lose an ear. Oh, for trip that would be huge. Yeah. Yeah. I, see, I'm thinking ear and like like a streak, like ear and eye, like the whole like like. The so whole you don't piece. lose the whole eye, but it clearly like it's right, like right, just scar. Are. Exactly. Don't lose the eye, but from the eye socket back to the yeah. ear, and the ear's missing, and like there's a scar in his hairline if his hair's short. Oh, All right, man. So. Uh, the scene rewinds back. It's the bullets. Uh, it's now in super slow motion. The bullets ricochet squibs off each of the, uh, the, the the side of the truck, and the last one is right in front of your face. And then the next bullet, you, it even slows down further. You see the bullet come in, and it just cuts right at your 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 uh, the the edge of your I skull. Saw it. At the, your eye socket cuts along, like does this like curve almost as it cuts against your your skull and rips your ear off in the process. Yeah. Okay. And then still leaves a a line coming out the back as well. Um. So take two harm. Oh man. You. Have significantly reduced hearing at the moment. <laughs> but you are knocked back behind the truck in the process. Well, kind of <clears throat> since the ramp is down, you're kind of knocked laying down on the ramp, I guess? Uh, who's next? Now that this is going swimming. Sort of there we go. <laughs> That's what all of us heard over the comm was. <laughs> We're like, Trip, what'd you do back there? I would like to try to disengage our truck from theirs and, uh, you know, get us a path out of here. All right. Um, this one's going to be. Do you want to try and assess a best course of action or do you want to just act under pressure? I'm thinking act under pressure, to be honest. All right, act under pressure. Okay, so that's going to be an eight. Oh, you think there's a way if you back up the truck enough, you could floor it, put uh, it'll put the uh, VTOL craft between you and the other truck. But you'd have to do it very soon. The driver is still in the truck. Uh, you're not sure if it's the same driver that you were actually expecting it to be. But it is a driver. But considering he drove in a truck full of Syndicate. Yeah. Um, so I, I had an actual question about that. Um, okay. If you don't mind. Uh, so Trip got us the AR person who has... Um, Presume who might have betrayed us here. Correct. I thought that the driver came from uh, Max and wasn't connected to that. Am I he misunderstanding something? Or? Was, he is connected to Max, but the thing is, 
all of you are known associates. So all it takes is a little bit of research to find, hmm, something fishy. And okay. investigate it accordingly. Max hasn't heard anything. Max received a message from his driver cohort's number, but it was text only, no audio, no information other than 10 seconds out. Yeah, but my, my, under, my understanding is correct then that ostensibly Max's driver and Trip's uh, AR person have no uh, known to us connection. No. Correct. Okay. I mean, tri uh, Trip's AR contact is connected to Trip, and the the driver is connected to Max, or dr driver was connected to Max, but you're not sure if it is the same driver in that truck. Okay. So, all right. I am I don't know. trying to get wasn't this one car. Huh? I actually yeah. have her in the on the board, by the way, on the trailer board. Yeah. Where's the? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Was that one of your contacts? Ah. No, Large Marge got you the um, truck, but it was your um, player contact that was your your not contact um your minion that was the driver. Your delivery minion, whose name I've totally forgotten. Let's go back to your character. Oh, I still don't have your picture in this. So, uh, think we can take a quick, like, five minute bio break there? Yeah. We've been going for oh. an hour and 20 minutes, so yeah. let's take a 10 minute break, um, and we'll be right back. Awesome. Sounds good. See you in a sec.
Put the audio back on. Welcome back to the uh, second half of the Sprawl Subversion Operation Everyone Wants a Car Panther at the moment. So far, the Car Panther is still alive, or at least one can assume. It was probably well rattled in a cage that was secured directly to a trailer that bounced around a whole metric ton. Um, so hopefully there's a um, airbag system in that cage. Otherwise, you have a lot of uh, uh, mashed up meat in those um, cages. We shall see. Um, at the begin end of the break, or at the start of the break, rather, you were backing up the truck, um, trying to arrange a way to get out. Uh, I believe yes. you did the act under pressure, and you got, what, eight, it looks like? Yes. All right, so it'll take you a moment to set up. You will be able to get through, but you have, let's see, how can I, how can I, uh, hard bargain this one? You're not sure if when you power through the truck won't take more damage, most notably potentially fully damaging the uh, cab to the point to which it no longer drives. Okay. Because they have been putting lots of rounds into the truck. Yeah. All right. Or I will hard bargain it. You can go right now, but it will destroy the windscreen and likely do you some harm. Yeah. Um, and not everyone is in the truck at the moment. Right. So exactly. I think that I'm good. Yeah. In fact, I, th I distinctly think you are Nobody. the only one in the truck at the yeah. moment. We'll take yeah. the back. Oh, yeah. That's right. You are I'm safely on, on the back. Until you drive by the people who are shooting at you who go, ooh, a meaty target we can shoot at. <laughs> in a box. So, in a truck. Well, he's on the ramp, so, so he's not really in the box. So let me give to everyone else to do stuff before uh, we resolve whether I like how this happens. All right, if so... Cool. If you're going to make the decision to go now, everyone has one distinct action to take if you warn them. Otherwise, the truck's going to go away. That was when you were leaving, yeah. leaving? That was basically what I was trying to set up, but uh, looks like it's not going to be as easy as I'd hoped. And you see a text readout on your... AR or on your heads up display only that says uh, leave the truck and we'll let you all live. Who sees that? Uh, you do. Replica does. I don't believe that. Okay. Not that I see this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Well, he's thinking. Oh, I'm, never mind. Go ahead, Jimmy. Yeah. No, go ahead. Go well, ahead. Go I ahead. Go say, ahead. Yeah, I I can't leave you guys behind. Um, so so since I can't do that, I'm gonna have to like work to position the the truck in a safe way in this area, or a safer way than it is at the moment. Uh, but not being able to escape. All right. Um, you kind of angle it back. But now you're in such a way that it would be a lot of, like, J-turning to go out the easy way. You All would right. likely have to smash <clears throat> through the back of the trailer of the other truck to go out the harder way. And you don't know how much that will be successful or not. Okay. As the truck is damaged from being shot at, run into a trailer, um... Driven through a mall. Driven through a mall. You know. Doesn't look uh, the happiest of trucks at the moment. 
I'm feeling like you're being kind of judgy here. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I think you would probably pass on it if you saw it on a showroom floor. Just saying. Maybe that's exactly my style. You don't know. You don't know me. <laughs> well, I Broke know your style Broke. is jug of uh, turpentine, but <clears throat> even right. still. Clearly, I like train wrecks. Then do I have the truck for you? <laughs> All right. Twice shot four times. It's good. Um, so at this time, there are still two and two on either side of the truck, plus one uh, Janus guard that is somewhere in the loading dock. Um, and the. And the truck is angled Seven. in such a way as that might be really obnoxious. Seven's kind of starting to be like, "What? What the heck is happening here?" And is is in the process of trying to push you off. <laughs> Did I, I? I've got her gun pushed away from her, right? Um. Let's do a. Hmm. Act under pressure. You know what? I'm going to give you a... Yeah, let's do act under pressure. I was going to do a fast talk, but I'm like, eh, it doesn't quite fit. A bit of a stretch to make it fit. Why will it not roll? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on a sec, my... Character sheet is decided to wig out. Cool. No worries. Let's see. Um, let's do this. Okay. Okay, got that back up. Now bring this back up. Then click this. Bring this up here. This is act under pressure. Hey, there we go. Nine. All right. So. You push the gun out of the way as you're, you're lying on the ground, kind of grappling with her. But in the process, she rolls over. And the rifle she had on her is gone. But she draws a pistol and points it at you and goes, "What the hell is going on here?" And I'll be like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! I just saved your life. You see all the bullets flying around?" She goes, "Shut up a second. Puts a knee to your your neck as her gun goes up, and she goes, "Pa pa pa pa!" And the two um, syndicate that were on that side go down. I like I'm her. Just, I'm literally. I'm just like. Uh, I'm just like, nice shot. Um, that went much better for her than it did for Trip. <laughs> As do most things. Well, you are using a gun that is probably genetically coded for blank to use, so it's like, you are not blank scare. I am just going to shoot randomly. You're like, boop! Wait, I didn't pull the trigger. What happened here? <laughs> It's like holding blade sword, it just like tears off your hand. Oh yeah. god, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh I'd be like, Thank you! Can you get off my throat? Uh she lifts her knee just enough, and then the gun barrel is now pointed back at your forehead. I'm just like like cross eyed looking at it, I'd be like Wow, remind me not to save your life anymore. You stole from my employers. Oh, please. I have every there... good reason to still shoot you. Wait, can I, can I ask two questions first before you shoot me? Uh, you get one. I need two, please. You get one and a half. Fine. How much do they pay you? I don't get paid. 
What if I get? Wait, what? <laughs> that's two. <laughs> no, that's, you don't get paid. That, that's your other half question. Right, I know, but you don't get paid. What the hell are you doing if you don't get paid? It is my duty. Oh, 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 little seven. There's so much more to life. Uh, are you going to try and fast talk her to your side? Which yeah, it sounds well, like you're yeah. trying to do, or at least fast yeah, talk her fight. down to maybe not murder you so <laughs> judiciously that she seems I, to want I'm to gonna, do. I'm going to try to fast talk her into us working together to get away from the syndicate guys, and with the fact that hey, I've you know tried to keep the tried to keep her people safe. I've tried everything. You know, I was acting above board. I don't even have a weapon. To which she responds, yeah. "Well, okay, let's see. Let's see how you roll, because I already have a response. If you do not do well, <laughs> wow, so much confidence. Okay, it's an eleven. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, my response, if you did not do well, would have been, yeah, except one of your compatriots put a load of large slug through my uh, partner, but." I don't know if she's she doesn't yet. know that at the moment. Right. We were wrestling, unless she's genetically linked or somehow. Or well, I mean, yeah. you guys can hear and see. Well, maybe not see, but no. definitely hear what each other is saying. Um, right, but we don't know who's doing the shooting because there was a lot of bullets flying around. Yeah, but admittedly, all of them have had automatic uh, rifles and only one person not wearing a suit and a bowler hat uh, had an auto shotgun. I but, don't even know he shot... I, I honestly don't even know that he shot one of those cards. She doesn't know at the moment, so she goes, All right. If you screw me, though, my my partner will uh, rain vengeance on everyone else. So she backs away, leaving you on the well, ground. Um, you see her launch... In, in one easy leap onto the top of the truck and uh, crouches low uh, and you lose sight of her on top of the truck at the moment. But you hear more exchanges of gunfire. I'm like, hey guys, um, first, um, okay, let me start with second. Um, looks like we got some help from one of the guards, so... Try not to shoot the guards right now. Shoot the guys in the pinstripes. Okay. From this point forward, got it. I just shake my head. I'm not even going to comment on it. Oh, and, uh, yeah, the, uh, um, yeah, we, and the other thing. Hey, how do we get out of here? It's like, let's do that one first. Who cares about the guards? Let's leave them. I don't know. I think I might be in love. We can go visit. What was her name? Candy. <laughs> Candy. Yeah, like we can go visit Candy after this. It's gonna be fine. No, oh, Candy. Candy knows how to scrub things. Um, this one knows how to fight. We may need another vehicle. <laughs> Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> so, have I verified if the the woman I shot is is dead or not? I was She's not dead, checking. but she is okay. severely wounded. Am I she able is unconscious. to view her face? Can I see who she is, uh, or if I would have known her if she would have looked like um, Nana or whatever? You fiddle around and get the the faceplate to do the digital clearing thing, and you see it looks exactly like. Um, Jim's or Max's uh, tech contact, Janice. All right, perfect. And I, a, I've met a Janice. younger version, but yes, I probably assume. I don't know if I would have seen her face. No, yeah, we would have. Okay. As long as we've been together, you would have met her at least once, or seen her on video calls. I mean, even if you hadn't seen her face to face, you would have seen. You would know of her. Gotcha. It's definitely not your contact. You have yeah, a feeling. I, just wonder, I wonder how if I would know that or not. Like. It, 
because to me, I probably wouldn't... Well, no, I'd be really good at recognizing faces, but given my job. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, you're, 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 um, you have uh, augmented eyes, right? Yeah, true. <laughs> it, your do. augmented eyes uh, do, like, this uh, facial analysis, and you see this scrolling screen of, of faces, and it, and it kind of settles on a screen capture from a video call that you had or you were involved with with Janice and it kind of goes match question mark hmm. it's like 80% match or something oh it's like 99.5% match but incorrect age so uh Max this girl that's somehow unconscious and bleeding um she looks a lot like your contact what was her name she Janice? Yes. Janice, yeah. Yeah, the one that just stood up, the one that just got off my neck looked the same way. Oh, that's Wait, interesting. There's more than one of these girls? Well, apparently, this one's I don't know what somebody shot her. I, she's alive though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well as long as she's alive, can you you know, as long as she's not gonna die on you, just don't shoot her again. Uh, okay. I'm not saying you shot her the first time, I'm saying don't shoot yeah. her again. That's got the deal I made with it. Got it. Are lots of them. We can pick one up later. Let's just go. So I, I think I would be turned around and probably shooting at the syndicate. And my shotgun is an auto. Where is it? Auto fire. So, so it's supposed to be able to do kind of a group, like it can hit a group. So so you you look up and take aim. Except, oh wait, no, this this would be the side that there are still syndicate on because it's the mm -hmm. passenger side that has the two that are yep. now down. Um. You catch sight of the one that was on the passenger side, standing on the trailer of the truck, and is kind of dodging around, exchanging fire with the two. So they are a little bit unawares. You are more than welcome to try and put them full of holes, too. At the range you're at, it won't do a ton of damage, because, well, are you switching to Buckshot, or are you sticking with Slug? Slug won't do um, wide. Buckshot will do wide, but less damage. Good point. Slug's probably better for that kind of range. Let's see, this is only closer near. I don't know if they're even near at this point. It'd be kind of on the edge of near. Yeah, I would say they're on the edge of near. They're not quite far, but they are, you know, on the other side of sure. a loading dock from you. I, I would say the slug would work. You might have a chance of... Uh, I, I would say at, at a minus one with the distance you're at. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Unless you describe how you act super awesome and go forward. But otherwise, it, it looks a... like Replica wants to say something, so I'll interject for a second. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I would like to consider rolling links. Uh, I have a submachine gun. Uh, mm -hmm. from a, I could fire them from a different angle that could force them out of their cover. Sure. And I could I could charge them too because they're they're not focused on me. Oh, the do only something visible threat. Do yeah. something super John Woo actiony here, man. You flush them out, I run at him with my shotgun and we go auto. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. So I grab my gun, I lean out the uh, side of the door, and <clears throat> my uh, Stuff is not particularly effective. Uh, you drive them deeper into cover. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't get a bonus, but now you've opened the door, so mm. bullets can now go inside the cab. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how uh, Blank's roll goes. Uh, still at a minus one. Or well, no. If if you do, if you if you give me a nice, awesome description of a charge, I'll leave oh, it at. I am closing ranks, so I'm, I, as he's, I just know he's doing this. I don't know. How, oh, I guess we've got comms, so yeah. I wanted some like weird force connection thing, but yeah. You tell me you're gonna flush him, so we're gonna do a, a flush and run. And so as he's doing that, I roll out a, I kind of come up and roll out of my, um, cover and charge straight at him as he's unloading on him, and I jump up on top of like i would assume there's a few things between us so i'm kind of like vaulting over things yeah uh, as i'm jumping over one of them to get some get above them i start firing down onto them 
Nice. All right, roll me. Nice. You deftly slide over one crate that's lying kind of off kilter because a truck smashed through a wall and knocked all over the place. You <laughs> duck under this table that was out in, uh, for sorting different things that were left on the loading dock. You spring up, bounce over this um, crate that they were hiding behind, and just like, bam, 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 bam. Um, one gets completely just like meat. Um, <laughs> smashed into the ground. The other one like, takes one in the arm, swings back, his gun goes flying, um, and looks also unconscious, probably bleeding profusely, may be dead or not. You're not sure. Um, and as you finish standing on top of those crates, it gets real eerily quiet because there was a lot of gunfire going on. Right. In, in fact, you look around, and the Janices are nowhere to be seen either. Oh. Hmm. Trip from the back of the uh, the truck on the the bed doesn't use his comm, just yells, "Can we go now?" <laughs> um. So I'm gonna go to the cab of the other truck. Was there anybody in the cab of the other truck? You actually see that the truck was set to autopilot. Okay. Uh, there wow. was nobody in the cab of that truck. It is completely empty. Um, you do see Rachel's phone sitting connected to that autopilot system. Nice. Okay. Got to figure out what happened to her. Pull the phone. You know, basically pull the phone loose so it's not connected anymore. Disable the autopilot system so it's drivable. Um, and then plan is to move all the animals. Well, the pro well, yes, but we're gonna need to steal another trailer because this well, one's laying on its side. The trailer that has the animals in it is still completely serviceable. It's just oh, okay, connected to the truck. Right. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick switcheroo. Uh, except this time we'll find some rope from around here somewhere to tie up the back end. Not his tie. Is is the other guard still on the ground? The one that blank shot. Um, no. Strangely, all four of them have disappeared. All right. So let's uh, get this switched over. Uh, Trip, can you grab us some uh, like? Rope equivalent from the radio shack, you know, like glowing EL wire or something. Yes. Trip uh, pushes off into the radio shack. Cool. Well, actually, that's not true. I don't think Trip responds at first. Okay. Yeah. Trip's just going. Ow. I think, I think he, he's looking around and at first he doesn't respond, and then he turns at you, and you can see that his ear was gone. Uh, but oh, now he's speaking you. <laughs> Yeah. I just, I just imagine all of going. Well, hey, uh, your your, your comp oh. piece is missing. Your com, your com is missing. Can't even another comp for his other ear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then I'll then I'll repeat it because like, not not lecturing. Uh, <laughs> trip. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm kind of imagining Trip goes to put it on his ear and he's like. And we're like, no, no, just put it on the other side right now. That ears, that ears, hurt. And and now that <laughs> that uh, that that calm piece is now covered in uh, annoying bleeding. Uh, I'm gonna do some applying first aid to Trip before he leaves. Um, just because he don't he don't look so good. So go for it. Uh, do I just? I'm going to roll for apply first aid here. Uh, did we have a med kit anywhere that I would get a forward for? 
sure you, you, find, you, you find a veterinary med kit in the back of the trailer that you might That's fine. be able to apply to it. 789. So reduce your harm one segment. And what was your what was your harm clock at? I took two, so I was at eighteen. Okay, so you're down to fifteen. That's fine. Okay. So I just kind of bandage up his you know his ear, cover it so it's not this gross gaping hole. But the whole time he like Trip knows it's bleeding and it hurts, but he's like it looks okay, right? Like <laughs> it looks fine, right? I, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. There's a lot of there's a lot of blood right now, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just let's get you bandaged okay. up and get out of here. We'll take a look when we get back. Blank we stare like... is is literally staring at him with his mouth open, like just <laughs> <laughs> saying anything. <laughs> Should I make a fast talk roll to see if he believes me? No, no, <laughs> he he wants to believe you. Okay, well I'm just like no, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just let's get out of here and then we can take a look at it. Remember, I've I've got contacts, so you know we'll get it fixed. Uh, while I'm in the Radio Shack, um, do they also sell? Do the houses come with like really cheap bottles of alcohol? That I would imagine would be the target demographic. They come with <laughs> bottles of rubbing alcohol. That's not what you want to drink. There's champagne in the back of the truck, dude. Yeah, but I gotta get something for blank. Put champagne in the back of the truck. You can drink you can... for, for using my rifle. <laughs> yeah, using. Right. He got a kill. <laughs> Probably not the one he was yeah. trying for, but yeah, well, you know. Yeah, I pick up. I can see me picking up Blank's rifle, and it's covered in blood where his ear got blown off. There's like little just, bits of his ear on the. I just have this image of the car panther, like a little piece of meat in it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen Kiss Kiss? Have you guys seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang? Uh, uh, it's got Robert Downey Jr. and um, uh, what's his name? Uh, from Top Gun, the uh, um, blonde guy. I Mal can't Kilmer? think. Mal Kilmer. And the, basically, it's uh, the guy who did it. Shane Black has done. He did. You know, he's done other things. But basically, there's a scene where Robert Downey Jr. has lost the tip of his finger, and he had it in ice in a dog bowl, and the dog picks it up. Oh, I've seen that. And he's like, the dog's got my finger. And he's like, well, shoot the dog and get the finger. And then the dog, like, swallows it. He goes, wait, hold on. Nope, we're good. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. If so you, if you haven't had it, add it to the list. It is it is absolutely a hysterical movie. So you guys are working to move the trailer. It seems things have gone quiet for the time being. You kind of hear... Um, the sounds of um, corp security, like the, the the general law enforcement seem to be heading towards the mall because, well, someone drove a semi through it and there's been reports of gunfire and um, reports of, oh my god, what's going on? So, we're, we're, we are doing our lightning, like, we're doing our, Steve, uh, our, our lightning McQueen impression of of this, like, this is like the Talladega Nights kind of like, zzz, zzz, zzz. this is the Mario Andretti, you know, popping wire. Like, I'm popping wires off the truck while it's still in motion, you know, type thing, so that as soon as he stops, he can just drive away, like, spinning the wheel as fast so the, tr the crank, it, the, 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 uh, stands down, that type of thing. Yeah. Um, like, you, you get the truck set up. It's all, hooked in um just as you guys load up i assume is there anything else you want to do before uh no once trip gets back with the el wire we're gonna rig it so that we can have two points it's tied to so not just one <laughs> all right you guys rig up the door it's secure enough for government work um you all pile back in. Are you still doing a couple inside the trailer, a couple in the cab, or? Yeah, I mean, otherwise the cab's crowded. Yeah. Uh, I'd like you... to point out the fact that I'm still leaking. I don't know if anyone wants to do first aid on me. Uh, <laughs> I could do a first aid on you while yeah, they're yeah. finishing. Okay. Anybody so... else got a better pool? Anybody got better than one? I just have one. 
Oh, that's right. Replica. I have two. So while I'm finishing yeah. hooking up the final bits of the truck, Replica, you want to first aid him? Sure. Yeah. Uh, do we still have the plus one forward from the uh, kit? Yeah. yeah. You, you have just enough. This will be the last plus one you can get out of it because it's... You've you've all expended right. all of the things you can apply to. Yeah, he gained you gain two. Nice. Uh, wait, a minute. two segments. If it's uh, less what's, than twenty one, uh, less than or equal to twenty one hundred. Uh, what's your I what's your harm pocket? Eighteen. All right, so you get two seconds. You're back up to full. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I feel great. It's like. <laughs> Apparently you found the elephant steroid in there. You just <laughs> had to give him a small shot of. Just drooling a little bit. <laughs> He's all well, wired. I'm injured. I failed to do uh, first aid on myself earlier. All right. So I'm basically just bandaged up and a little bit poor judgment from blood loss. <laughs> are, are you guys going to torch any of the remaining evidence? Or are you just going to leave it strewn about the loading dock? None of it's ours. You know, eh. Yeah, uh, the, the beetle oh, craft is already mostly destroyed. The truck trailer is mostly destroyed. The other truck is mostly destroyed. And, and I really a see reason to set it on fire. All right. Now, <laughs> let, let's light, light the other cab on fire. As we're yeah. Going. I like okay. this. Okay. You, you start up a fire, the, the cab's burning. Um,. As you're you're driving away, it's a shot from of the loading dock. The the semi drives out one entrance. You can see the cab burning in the background. The upended trailer. One you you kind of get catch a glimpse of one uh, syndicate guy in a bowler hat trying to climb out of the uh, upended trailer. Just and and as you guys pull out of frame, you see a bunch of like um, MRAP style trucks with lights on it roll up smash into it and law enforcement in full tack gear clamor out guns at the ready kind of look around and go what the hell just happened here they could see into the radio sh- the camera like as a, you, it, the camera switches to like a drone view that's launched out of the the mrap it kind of floats over does the scan of the the burning truck doesn't register any information does catch the the barcode enough to see that it's a genetic fix truck it turns it sees down the the smashed pathway in the mall and you get the 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 like digital effect look of it as it scans in and just the the screen pans out and you just get this rendered view of the mall and the pathway of destruction that you caused in the process and then uh that fades out and cuts to it's a screen uh, floating in Simon's parlor that he's looking at and just shaking his head going, at least it was exciting. Um, And you guys head towards the rendezvous point. Who wants to be the lucky one to roll the get paid roll? Oh, Trip wants to, right? I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, why not? It's edge, right? Uh, no, it's like, segments left on legwork, which is one. Oh, I thought it was edge. Nope. Okay, anyone can roll it then. No, this is trip. This is all trip. <laughs> Who's feeling RNG lucky today? I have been so blessed by the uh, RNG. I will certainly do it if no one else no. wants to. <laughs> no. <laughs> I saw it. You rolled a three earlier. <laughs> I did. Uh, I mean, my Shane, only role, my only Shane. role ended up with losing my ear. Well, then you're due. Go <laughs> ahead. I've had mostly good rolls tonight. I think. How do I roll this if it's, it's leg work? It's, it's so it'll just be two d six plus one. Oh, slash r space two d six plus one. <laughs> Very literal. Oh. Hmm. Well. Do I lose my other ear? 
<laughs> I'm about to cut it off. <laughs> it's not much better. I did it just to see what I'd get. <laughs> That's all. Now you get a nice roll. <laughs> Can we average? You're muted, by the way, John. Nine are both the same, so... Uh... Oh! Yeah, they drop shit. Um... Oh... How do I want to do this? I mean, those are those are just the choices that we can make. They don't <laughs> like not, you know, doesn't mean that you have to invoke that. Just that you can. <laughs> well, the fun fact is, I get to invoke the opposite of all of those. I'm saying that, yes, but you don't need to invoke all of them. Oh, I don't need to. I could, you know, make it. You know, something hidden happens too if I really feel like it. Um, and I have an idea for <laughs> at least one of those. Um, so I'm actually going to save the getting paid portion for our next episode, which will be the getting paid portion and the, um, post mission slash, uh, intermission moves. So I'm going to say you, you roll off the loading dock, you disappear into the horizon, you head down to the meeting place, which was a house in a, um, a green zone area, and the the last scene as the, the, the shot fades to black is you getting the, waving a, a pass at the um, entrance to the green zone and the truck driving in, and you see um, in, in the horizon, just as it's fading to black, a couple of VTOL craft flying into the area as well. <laughs> great. And then you just cut to just a dumpster great. on fire outside yeah. the loading dock. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where it fades out. Yep. <clears throat> awesome. Um, so... So I'm guessing I'm, we have not seen the last of 137. I'm gonna... Well, you haven't quite gotten mission complete, so at the moment, if you haven't been giving yourself the mission objective XP, you should have one, two, three, four XP to award yourself. Okay, I had some already. Well, you should have Previously. some from the last mission. Right, right, right. So, and I gave myself the one for... Yeah, you're welcome for the... You're totally allowed the one for the... That, um... You gain four for one for accepting the job, one for determining the location for the extraction, one for extracting all of the animals intact so far, and you're about to do the delivery, so I'm going to accept this as the delivery of the animals to Simon. Jeez, I can't remember if I did the one for accept. I guess I probably did. So that'd be four more, you said? Uh, three more, if you've done the three accept more. the job. Pretty sure I did. Oh, yeah, three more. I hadn't done anything since we were ten. Hmm? I mean, so, how do we get over 10 XP? When you hit 10 XP, you can Try spend half. it to do an improvement on your character, which is to either um, buy a new move. Wait, it, it should say in the advancement section of. Um, oh, it says it on the advancement yeah. section of the playbooks. It doesn't so much on the. Uh, so if you open up the playbook for your character. <clears throat> the actual. Like, if you have the uh, Sprawl Playbooks PDF. It's the easiest mm -hmm, yeah. way to do it. Uh, a lot of your it's options on, on are second page. A lot of your options are choose another move, choose a move from another playbook, increase your style edge, cool mind, meat, or synth, um, or any of the above. Uh, buy off an obligation, enemy, or owned. Uh, change your character to a new playbook, which is an interesting option. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Rewind a corporate countdown clock to 1800. Requires 10 credits. Retire your character to safety. Requires 20 credits. Or make a second character. 
Hmm. Uh, most of those, or the, the latter half of those, are things that we have to get five other oh, yeah. advancements for first. Yeah, if you get five advancements, you can do the crazy stuff. Gotcha. It's like... It's likely to be for now uh, making a buff to one of our stats, um, taking a move from our playbook or a move from another playbook. Is there a way to mark advancements, or we just keep track ourselves? Um, write down in your character sheets notes. Okay. Uh, I see there's a notes section. One. Yeah, there is a notes yes, section. Yes, there is. I've, I've been yeah. keeping track of my stuff there. Yep. Put in your put in your notes section. And be like, uh, took Crap. spent ten XP. Took advancement. Joe Schmo. Yeah. And uh, then take the experience out of your experience box mm -hmm. when you mark it. Cut. Do you want us to do that between uh, sessions, or wait until after we have completed this before we can take the advancement? This welcome operation. to do it between sessions. You're welcome to do it now if you're feeling, you know, particularly. Um, affixated on a certain thing and just let me know otherwise we will discuss it um, when we do the thrilling conclusion of getting of what happens when you get paid okay what options did you take for this mission uh, you took job pays well and the meeting didn't attract attention and you took an extra gear did you ever spend that gear? I think we spent it I on the AR. Yeah. I think oh no, you you spent it on the like weird machine you were using to switch trucks. Right. That's right. That's right. I had a hold with the security patrols and building layout, and I don't know if I ever used that. Yeah, you still had that <laughs> one left. Oh well. So I spent ten to up my meat because I was at zero, and since. I couldn't hit the broadside of a well. I hit the broadside of a replica. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I hit the broadside of a truck, and it hit the broadside of a replica. To be fair. <laughs> hey, Trip got Peter. a lucky shot. Uh, uh, you know, killed someone. It just wasn't the person he was trying to kill. And <laughs> did it tear off his ear. ear? Yeah. Well, yeah. And he lost an ear for it. But man, I, I really do want to play out. I do. We really do have to play it. Role play out him. Find, him unwrapping his ear. That's, <laughs> oh. I, I have a feeling that is going to be after you guys deal with all of the crazy that happens in the getting paid portion of this scenario. Um, but you know that'll be that'll be either next week or the week after, depending on how you guys feel about it. Um, um please tell me that that you do have a plan to bring one three seven back in some way, because oh yeah, it's like there's some fun some fun stuff to do there. Well, I was sitting on that <laughs> one. I, I meant to actually bring it in earlier, but I'm like, oh, well, I can bring it in now. That'll work fine. Um, well, I just, I, I would, I like the idea that somehow I planted a little bit of doubt in her, in her with, you know, not being the tip. Like, I'm not what she was expecting when she was facing off against, you know, um, bad guys, and so yeah. maybe it's making her question. It's kind of a little bit like uh, if you've watched Rebels. Um, What's his name from Rebels that you know eventually turn uh, converted mm -hmm. because he realized the Rebels, you know, that the Empire wasn't what he thought it was, and the Rebels weren't who he thought they were. Uh, yeah. What's his name? God, I can't think of his name. No names because right I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to. Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's the guy from the first. He was the the Imperial guy from the first. Uh, he's been it the whole time. I haven't seen any of it yet. I've seen the yeah. opening movie. That's the first two seasons, and that's it. First yeah. two seasons of... I mean, the first two um, episodes, episodes of Spark of the Rebellion. You mean from four years ago when it came out? Yep. And I've got season one on DVD, finally. I still haven't finished Clone Wars, so... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Anyway, that's kind of what my... You know, I'm hoping that somehow I've planted a seed of doubt that she's going to have to come find me to investigate because now it's frustrating her and, you know, she wants answers as to... Eh, why we'll the see. hell? Why the hell I'm in her head? That type of thing. We'll see. It, it, it's it's entirely possible. Although replica, you're you're becoming very uh, pixelated. Pixelated all of a sudden. He's shifting I into another form. Yeah, that's yeah. really trippy. She she's yeah. shifting into. I need your identity. Yeah. Yep. Things are pretty pretty potato here. So. 
Um, but... So I, I think we can wrap it up for the evening. Um, I might actually get a full night's sleep, which would be a nice change of pace for the last six weeks, basically. Um, I hope you guys had a lot of fun, and I'm glad I had a yep. lot of uh, a, a lot of people hanging out. Um, not a whole lot in chat, but you know, things got interesting regardless. Um, for everyone in chat, thank you for hanging out. Uh, please follow, like, subscribe. Uh, this will get posted to YouTube probably tomorrow when I actually have time to do a few edits. Um, I will post my YouTube in the link chat just to be nice about it. Go there. Follow, like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff that everyone does on YouTube. Um, yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing this next week. Otherwise, it'll be the week after. I will post on Twitter when I know further from you guys. And... Uh, real quick vote. Uh, I'm 50-50 on next week. Um, anybody else absolutely out or absolutely in? I'm kind of 50-50 as well. Um. I'm I'm fifty fifty on being on time. There's a chance. There's a good chance that I could be on. I could be a little late. So if you guys are able to go, I could just be a little late. I'm helping run a um, running a terraforming Mar Venus next game at seven Ooh, my nice. time. So well, here. if the game runs it's supposed to only about two hours, then I could be right on. I could be right on time. But if it runs a little late, I could be a little bit late. Let's just go with uh, two weeks, and I'll do uh, Minecraft next week. So. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, Definitely good for yeah. All right. So, Mr. Blake Stare, uh, start to send us out. Sure. All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed me killing things, and there should be more of that in two weeks. You can find me here or on Twitter. Um, I, I can never remember a freaking Twitter handle, so you can tell how much I use it. I think it's at blanks eight twenty one. Um, yep, at Blanks821. Yep. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. Hopefully, uh, maybe doing something. Maybe I'll join you in Minecraft eventually. Sweet. That'd be nice. Yeah. More than welcome. <laughs> um, Max, send us out. Um, I am VidWizard, V I D D Wizard. You can find me on uh, Twitter at Blanks820. I'm sorry, that's uh, VidWizard. <laughs> uh, v I D D Wizard. Uh, if you want to follow me, although I guess following uh, blanks is probably just as interesting. He's probably got more to say. Um, yeah, if you like steel, I just retweet all of his stuff. So yeah, you know. <laughs> I just post so. everyone in my my tweets about the stream. So you know, I, I hit everyone so far. Uh, uh, but yeah, if you need, if you're looking for me, Vid Wizard, V I D D Wizard, um, and I will. I think we did all the kill, everything I look forward to. We had death, mayhem, uh, destruction, and humor. So yep. that's that's what I'm go. here for. Uh, moving trip. on, moving on to trip. You can find trip at Earth Trip West. Um, yeah, I don't know. We we saved my tie, but I lost an ear, so I don't know if that was a good trade. <laughs> <laughs> just just funny. put, put well, the tie should've... over the ear. That should be like a not a tourniquet, but we're using that to bandage it, so it's getting all bloody. <laughs> <laughs> But it, but it's made of such a material that it isn't actually helping stop the blood because it's hydrophobic. So the blood is just pool, like curling around it and leaking down. That's uh, why we had a first aid kit to use something that would absorb the blood and then use the tie to hold that on. <laughs> and lastly, replica, send us out. All right. Uh, so since I am not. Uh, online in any form of uh, real presence, I figured that I would in instead tell everyone about Harlem Unbound, which is a book that came out pretty recently. Uh, it is a Cthulhu, um, Trail of Cthulhu, Co uh, Call of Cthulhu source book for playing investigators during the Harlem Renaissance of the early 1900s. Nice. Very uh, <clears throat> uh, locations specific uh details a lot of really cool stuff uh so i i just got the kickstarter uh backer thing for that check it out it's by uh, darker hue studios it's really good nice i think i've heard a couple of mentions of it on uh ken and robin talk about stuff so 
Uh, it's yeah, definitely it's... high on my list, though. Admittedly, I've been kind of wishy-washy about doing Trail of Cthulhu stuff because. I tend to like yeah. the more adventure games rather than the dark, depressing, y'all are gonna die games. So, I yeah, <laughs> I, I am personally on a nihilism kick right now, so mm. it's uh, kind of right up my alley. <laughs> cool. So, well, I guess right. when uh, Changeling Second Edition comes out, maybe we should uh, look at that too. Then <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Um, I have the Second Edition of Stars Without Numbers, but I don't think that's gonna be. I mean. It's an interesting game, but it is very much a lot more crunchy than uh, any of the games I normally play are, so who knows? We'll see. Um, but I'm also looking forward to playing, if I can convince people to do so, uh, Scum and Villainy. So keep an eye out Scum for that. Scum and Villainy? Scum and Villainy is a Blades in the Dark hack that is oh, right, uh, right. basically Firefly plus Blades in the Dark. So definitely looking forward I'm on to board. that. I'm on board if we want to when we take a break from Sprawl. Yeah. Sounds All right. Great. That sounds up my alley. Yeah, maybe um, I can convince one of you guys to run it so I can play. <laughs> I can do that. Cool. Um, um, note, I did post in the chat a link to... We were talking about Baby Drive earlier. Um, I linked it to everybody else earlier, but the first six minutes of the movie, uh, which will give you uh, whether or not you like the movie or not. Uh, I don't know if these guys have had a chance to watch it, but um, hopefully we can... That will watch it and enjoy it. Watch it; it's worth. All right. Now the first, the six-minute little preview doesn't doesn't entice you. Then it's probably not your movie. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you again for hanging out. Have a lovely evening, and hopefully, we will be back in two weeks for another round of the end of Everyone Wants a Car Panther and the beginning of the intermission moves after that. Uh, next week is Minecraft, so have a good night. And we are switched. In memory.